हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ शैलेश राणे एंड आई वेलकम्स यू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ सारस्वत इंटरनेशनल एकेडमी टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट लेसन नंबर वन दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू एच टी एम एल फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज इंटरनेट इंटरनेट मीन्स वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब what is internet the internet is a global network of billions of computer connecting together and sharing information to each other is called internet at present in many types of application computer use extensively two or more computer can be connected distributed the research among them internet is a network of many computers and so it is called network of many network two or more computer can be connected as to make possible the exchange of information between them and this type of computer are called computer network so students have you understood what is the internet the idea of web this world wide web the idea of web was floated for the first time by tim berner lee he was working in european organization for nuclear research world wide web is a multimedia treasures of different types the information available as a web page can be seen using web browser now what is web browser just i will give one example see here this is google chrome it's a one kind of a web browser is an application enabling viewing of information on web the same way google chrome the mozilla firefox internet explorer safari netscape navigator etc are example of web browser now introduction to html what is html HTML is a hypertext markup language. In a web page, there are connection or links showing different location. They are called hyperlink. Student, by clicking on a hyperlink, a user can describe place which is known as following with hyperlink. For example, verbal writing, picture, drawing. and other information can be connected with hyperlink writing and hyperlink cannot be directly presented on world wide web for that hypertext markup language is used html is a combination of information shown by web page and for being useful to such information without this kind of supporting pillar it is impossible to show web page information so students right now i'm starting the html program so before starting in the program which steps we have to follow let's see in detail first of all you have to go to the start windows option you have to write notepad in notepad you have to write html code that is case sensitive so whatever you will write either it's a small letter or capital letter both are acceptable for that if you want to increase the font go to the format option font and inside that you can increase the font size okay now here i am writing the code basic code to understand the html language so here i am writing html that is hypertext markup language in html whatever code you are opening it should have closing tag also so in html i am writing first head tag that is called heading the head tag also i have to close again inside head there is the title tag title tag which will display the browse page title it's using for page title so suppose my page title is rambo i am writing here page title name and title tag close after that i am opening body tag inside body tag 
I have to write the information. Whatever information I will write in body tag, it will display on web browser. So inside body tag, first of all, I am giving heading. For heading, there is the H1 tag. Yeah, I am writing rainbow. This is my main title. That's why I written in H1 tag. And after that, I am writing information about rainbow. So that is information so i have to use the paragraph tag for paragraph tag i have to use p okay inside that paragraph i can write the information about the rainbow so rainbow consists of seven colors these color are violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red so this is the student information about the rainbow and this following code listing can be show the information in web page as a html form so first of all you have to save this page rainbow dot html on desktop i am saving it save i will minimize the code and student you can see here the same page you can see in html form so double click on it so here the information about the rainbow will be displayed now inside that if you want to break the line how you will do it so again open the notepad after dot i am writing here break tag for break tag i will write br suppose if i want to again break the line I will write after this again break tag. After this again I will write here break tag. After it again I will write here break tag. And here also I am writing one more time break tag. So students by using break tag you can break the line let's see is it completed or not again i am refreshing the page by pressing f5 key it's refresh so you can see here the lines is break okay now we will start the next topic that is how to save the page how to refresh it and how to open it again so I will give short introduction about it. Whenever you want to create HTML page that you have to write that code in notepad file. In notepad file go to the file option, save and you have to save this file, the file name dot HTML. After written this you have to save it and after saving it you can see that file on web browser. So what is the structure of an HTML in document? The structure of an HTML in document mainly two parts. The head section, this is our head section and second is the body section. This is our body section. Now what is head section? Head section is known as head element. This head section is known as head element. In this section the detail of the given page is added. In this section, the detail of the page is added. Example, title and description of the page. So, title and this is the description of the page. All the information is shown cover between head tag. So, whatever information written here, it is between the head tag. Head tag open here and head tag close here. Now, the second is body section. This is our body section which is open from here and close from here. 
body section is known as body element information which is seen through browser are added here so this information we can see in browser also here so whatever information seen from browser it's added over here all the information is shown covered by body tag so all the information shown that is covered by the body tag now our next topic is html title the heading of the web page is shown between title tag the heading this rainbow is the our heading that is the title so where it shown student this is shown over here this is called the title of the page any document has only one title element so whatever document you are creating one document have only one title element it is important to note here that text of the title is not a part of document text so text of the title is not a part of document text so it should be simple text and only a special command like hyperlink must be used for it title is used for bookmark list or browser history so expert advice to keep the title as short as possible so whenever you are writing the title in student you have to write as short as possible and it should be meaningful use of title in estimate code listing so i already shown you how to write title in title tag our next topic is html heading style here i am again making one new program so you will understand it easily so again i am going to file option new so here i am writing again new program for your better understanding again html tag open html tag close student here whatever tag you are opening you should close it now i am opening your head tag head tag should be close inside head tag i am opening your title tag now my next page title i am giving here about rainbow so this is my next page and title tag close after that i am making here body tag it should have to write in anchor so body tag open here and i have to close body tag if you forget to close the any tag over here you will not get the proper web page design so in body tag i am writing first heading h1 i am writing your name rainbow and i am closing h1 tag this is the largest heading in h1 tag means it's starting from h1 to h6 so i am copying this thing and paste five times four and five okay students now here this is my h1 heading which is the largest heading this is my second largest heading h2 total there are six heading so i am from coming from top to bottom this is h3 heading so it's third largest heading h4 h4 is the fourth largest heading in html h5 h5 is the fifth largest heading in html h6 h6 is the sixth largest heading in the html okay so it's done over here i am saving this file again what is my file name i written here title also so same name i can write so i am writing here about rainbow and i will save by html so if i write extension html then only it will be open in google chrome browser otherwise it will open in notepad file only so i minimize it so you can see a student new file created the name of the file is about rainbow i will open it so you can see here the difference between h1 to h6 heading this is your h1 heading this is your h2 heading this is your h3 heading this is your h4 heading this is this is your h4 heading this is your h5 heading and this is your 
एच सिक्स हेडिंग सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड हाउ द आउटपुट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम एच वन टू एच सिक्स द साइज ऑफ एलिमेंट एच वन इज शोन इन साइज ऑफ राइटिंग ऑफ द रेस्ट ऑफ द डॉक्यूमेंट एनी वन कैन री डिटरमाइन द साइज ऑफ हेडिंग इन हिज ओन वे सो हियर वी विल स्टॉप टूडेज लेक्चर इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल सी टैक्स इंक्रीजिंग डिसेंसी ऑफ राइटिंग Thank you